Concrete Cast concrete is a critical material in the construction industry, with a range of benefits and advantages that make it a versatile and valuable component in a wide variety of construction projects. It is a highly durable material that can withstand even the most extreme weather conditions and heavy use. It is also a versatile material that can be designed to meet specific strength and load requirements, making it a material of choice for a wide range of construction projects. Precast concrete structures can be manufactured in a factory and then transported to the construction site, which can save time and reduce construction costs. This can also reduce the amount of noise and disruption on the construction site, as well as minimize the amount of construction waste that is generated. They are also highly customizable, and can be designed to meet specific architectural and aesthetic requirements. This makes it an ideal material for a range of construction projects, including high-end and luxury construction projects, as well as projects that require a high degree of architectural creativity. In addition to its durability, versatility, and cost savings, precast concrete is also a sustainable material that is eco-friendly and energy efficient. This makes it an attractive choice for environmentally conscious construction projects, as well as for projects that are required to meet specific sustainability requirements. Precast concrete is a versatile material that can be used to create many different structural elements for construction projects. The types of precast concrete structural elements that are commonly used include Columns, precast concrete columns are used to provide vertical support for a building and are typically the first elements of the structure to be built. Columns can be used to support beams, floors, and ceilings and are designed to carry loads and withstand wind, earthquake, and gravity loads. Beams, precast concrete beams are designed to carry horizontal loads and distribute them to the columns or other supports below. Beams can be used to support floors, ceilings, and other structures, and are typically used as a part of the framing system.
Slabs, precast concrete slabs are used to create flat surfaces, such as floors and roofs, that provide a foundation for other structural elements. They are also used to create a level surface for walls and other elements. Walls, precast concrete walls are designed to create structural walls for buildings, and can be used to create both non-load-bearing and load-bearing walls. They can be used to create internal and external walls, and can be used to create complex architectural features such as curved walls. There are several steps involved in the precast concrete manufacturing process. Here's some information. Design and planning. The first step is to design the precast concrete structure and plan the manufacturing process. This includes determining the size and shape of the precast pieces and identifying the raw materials and equipment required for production. Raw material preparation. The next step is to prepare the raw materials, which typically include cement, sand, crushed stone, and water. These materials are mixed in specific proportions to create a concrete mixture that meets the desired strength and durability requirements. Formwork preparation, the next step is to prepare the formwork, which is the temporary structure used to create the shape of the precast pieces. This can be done using either wooden forms or steel forms, depending on the size and shape of the precast pieces. Casting, the concrete is then poured into the formed openings and left to set. The timing for this stage will depend on the type of concrete being used and the external conditions such as temperature and humidity, which can affect the rate of set. Curing, after casting, the precast pieces need to be cured to reach their optimal strength and durability. This typically involves keeping the precast concrete moist for an extended period of time by using a curing compound or other methods. Demolding. Finally, the precast pieces are removed from the formwork and inspected for defects before moving on to the next stage of production or delivery. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel to see more. See you on the next video.